everybody, my name is Tuna and I am your host here on the TCNJ Kids Show. And today here with me I have... Agoko. Hello. Thank you all very much for being here. So today we're going to be talking on the topic of kids' fashion. Fashion has a wide diversity with different meanings. Fashion can mean how you want to dress up and all that. To me, fashion means how you want to express yourself. Fashion is the way you want people to see you. So what's fashion to you? I don't really like fashion, so I don't really know. But the only thing I know is that what what colors go with? What colors? So yeah, you do color coding. Yeah. Okay. Any more fair? It's the style and the way I look. The style and way you look. Anna? Fashion to me is how the color of the clothes you are wearing express yourself how they make you feel what feelings do you have when you wear your best clothes and what feelings do you have when you wear your worst clothes or maybe they force you to wear something how do you feel technically i have a very long skirt my and my friend always calls it mama i can't remember Masha. It's a very long clip and I really like it. It makes me feel like an adult. Okay. And the worst clothes is bomb shorts and contour. Okay. I yeah. hate wearing them. That's why I want to be a, become a lawyer. But, Sha. That's interesting related to fashion. Aim of it. My favorite coat is bomb shorts and top. <laughs> Both of you won't. Okay. And my worst coat is when I wear dresses that have like itchy stuffs on them, like net. Net makes me feel itchy. Okay. Anna? For me, any cloth is fine, but my favorite one will be a skirt and a top. But for my worst cloth, it will be trouser and top. Trouser and top? You're wearing trousers right now. And I hate it. <laughs> okay. And why did you come and wear it? Exactly. Why did you come? Because I don't really have much skirt and top, and my mom forced then me to wear this. Why do you like wearing skirt? Seriously. Okay, you guys can deal with this issue after. <laughs> so, Anna, when your parents force you to wear something, do you like retaliate? Retaliate means to fight back. If it's like my auntie or uncle, I do, but when it's my parents, I don't. Okay, that's being respectful. Any other of you, when your parents force you to wear something, do you retaliate? Mm, that was when I was nine. But I don't retaliate when my mom used to wear, force me to wear something. Because I love wearing skirts, trousers, and hate the other stuff. And also dress. Okay, in more fair. Yes, sometimes because I don't like the outfit you choose. I want to pick you myself. Okay, how would you describe your own unique style? Mm, trousers. Okay, in more fair. Shorts. Anna. I like when I it's a winter style when you do winter autumn styles. So, describe the winter and autumn style you're talking about. When people are wearing coats or jackets and they are wearing like cute beanies and they have like cute outfits, I really like them. Okay. What's your favorite piece of clothing that allows you to express yourself? Based on, so when you're answering this question, describe the kind of person you are and how that clothes shows your personality. I'm like, a rough girl, tomboy, Sha. I'm just being honest. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I'm not looking at you anyhow. Um, so I love wearing trousers, joggers, three quarter shorts, mm, very nice, and long tops. Okay. And stretchy tops. Okay. Any more fair? I love wearing jumpsuits. Shorts and jeans. So how does that link to your personality? By like the way I look into the mirror. I look one beautiful 
when I wear those clothes. Okay, I know. I like wearing winter clothes because I love winter. I love wearing yellow top clothes because of it expresses my happiness. And pink clothes or purple clothes because they're my favorite color. Also, I don't like wearing dress or skirts that are not past my knee. I love things that are past my knee. Okay. Why? Because it feels short when the thing. I don't like short things. I like very long stuff. Okay. Even though the thing is on my knee. And the reason I why I don't like trousers and leggings and all those stuff because it takes really long to put them on and then if they're ripped jeans your leg will go through the ripped holes and it's so annoying i have experience i hate ripped jeans too i love ripped jeans they look so nice me too my my like something someone to once told me that um that in those days ripped jeans were for farmers and that's how now ripped jeans have come to be a style Ooh. True, true, true. I was wearing my boots on Sunday and I was wearing a top. When I looked in the mirror, I thought I was looking like, but not actually a farmer. You know what? Cowboy, cowgirl, something, something. That's how I was looking. Like Texas. 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 <laughs> Texas, style. Texas, please. Don't be rude to their country by pronouncing their name very badly. So how is saying Texas pronouncing it very badly? Doesn't because make sense. Because that's not how to pronounce it. Do you think the way you behave also matters aside from the clothing you wear? No, because I'm just that kind of person that likes jumping off things. But I hate heights. I'm really scared of heights. Like let's say the roof of this house. I'm not that scared of it. But let's say a a skyscraper. I am scared. Mm. Basically, I'm really scared of high, but not that much of buildings. In ten years, I see you jumping off of Burj Khalifa. Don't worry, any more fair? I think the way I act soon should match my clothing. Like if you wear a dress and you're jumping up and down, it won't match your clothing at all. I'm sure I'll also be uncomfortable anna the way some people act doesn't really match their clothing but the way i act sometimes match my clothing for example when i wear yellow stuff i might that day i might be actually angry but i just pick that because of the way it made me look and the way i liked the that you should be happy. Okay. Also, I don't like wearing pink because I don't like pink. I like wearing black, gold, and purple. Anything purple, I can wear it. Purple, okay. What is your own style of fashion that you love? My own style? Yes. Firstly, I like wearing black shoes, which I am wearing right now. I like wearing free trousers. Mm-hmm. And I like like wearing long sleeve. I like wearing sweatshirts. Why? Oh, because it sweats inside it. Oh, jeez. What? No, what do you think because they call it sweatshirts? see, I I am a very I am someone who likes to move. So if you wear j- free joggers, you'll be able to move freely without stress. That's why I don't like jeans. No offense, though. What? I'm wearing jeans. I have to. S- oh, both of you. No offense. <laughs> So now the next question is, what is Christian fashion? Christian fashion is like when you don't wear something that makes you 90% naked. Oh my God. What? This cre- I am not going to judge of your I'm not going to judge of your but answer. But actually, Christian fashion is like what you wear that describes you as a Christian. Okay. So what would you think describes you as a Christian? Long skirt and long and stretchy top. 
For boys? For me. Okay, for boys. For boys. Watch our way. Except from this. I like room sleeves. <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> for you. Okay, aim of him. I think Christian fashion should be like it one woman's ready where like it has get to wrap her tie in their mm. top together and then they now tie it a bada on their head. So you're saying traditional fashion is Christian fashion? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, what um, I think Christian fashion is is when you wear a a type of cloth that God might like God might say that it's a good type that is of godly. fashion. That but how is would godly. you know God say said it's a good fashion? For example, read your Bible. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> that, that hurts. Bible, that hurts. <laughs> that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts. You know if God would make it an exceptional offer to be won. For this next question, I want to ask. I'm having all of you are girls for this question. What uh, hair should you plait that you think is godly? I hate hair. Trust like I hate hair. You should I bang make... my hair like five times. Okay. I you should make long. Very... You it's, should make. It's long very good hair. to know that you so, you are expressing yourself and not leaving anything out. I go go. Yes. Thank you. Very thank you. F- thank you for not telling lies. So you think um for godly hair, girls should barb their hair. Barb their hair or plait it. Like or back, shuku, or this. I wish I knew what you were saying. <laughs> shuku is like, oh, um, why you go like this? Up. Okay, name of it. What do you think? I think for for their hair, they should just do braids or or back and beans. Do you say beans? <laughs> 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 Wait, what? Pay? Beans. 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 Okay. For shuku, okay. Okay. What I'm. What I am. Okay. Shuku and so what I oh, think is a godly hairstyle is like using your natural hair to make. If you are in Nigeria, you can use your natural hair to make beautiful hairstyles. But if you are an American, you can just style the the hair that you already have. They're doing racist to hair. Oh, to <laughs> hair. In America, I, their I hair is lo- is way longer than ours. There are some Nigerians that, they le- that their hair is long. They don't cut their smelling hair. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now you have been racist to hair. <laughs> now you are cutting American hair smelling. No, I never said that. I never said Nigerians. That said, you indirectly said that. I never I'm said. I'm not sad. Don't Tona, call me sad. Tona. Yes. I never said that Nigerians, some people in Nigerians, Nigeria, don't have smelly hair. Mm. So I'm asking you, does your hair smell? Yes. <laughs> Everyone's Everyone's hair smells. Thank you. Thank you for being on. My hair does not smell. Everyone hair smells. My hair so smells like cologne. Wash your hair. My hair smells like cologne. <coughs> Cough. Cough all you want. You are coughing because you know I'm telling the truth. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. If you cough means that means that means you're lying. That in your dreams. Right. Um, technically, I'm not lying in my dreams. So now the next question is: Godly fashion versus your everyday fashion. How should it be? How do you think you should dress when you're home, when you're out, and when you're in church? Home, casual. Out, casual. Church, casual. Same thing. You when, when, when you're at home, you wear like simple clothing. But when you're going out, you have to look stylish. What kind of? Go. Yeah, you have to look as if you're, you're going in front of so 1,000 people. At home, you can wear comfortable clothes that you like to stay in. When you are going out, you can just wear casual clothes. Don't don't have to be extra. When you are going to church, if it's a special day, you can wear dress, tuxedo if you are a boy. Tuxedo. <laughs> but if you decide to wear a casual thing, it's okay. Her clothing is beautiful, knit together, and purple gown of exquisite linen. 
Bold power and glorious majesty are wrapped around her as she laughs with joy over the latter days. Proverbs 31, 22 to 25. TPT. What does that mean to you? That means how she expresses herself with the clothing that she's wearing. Like how she feels with the clothing that she's wearing. Your clothes expresses your emotions. That's what you're trying to say. Yes. Okay. But sometimes it doesn't express my emotions. When I'm angry, I wear white. And when people are annoying me, I hit them. (laughs) It means the way she dressed and how happy she is to wear that cloth. Okay. That's what made her so happy. What she was wearing expressed her emotion and how it expressed her emotion, she really loved it. So that that's why she was happy and really loved what she was wearing. And that was it for today. Thank you all for being here to talk to me about the topic of fashion. And it was very helpful that all of you were girls to talk about fashion. If you want to be part of this, check the link on the screen or the link in the description. Follow our social media page and send us a DM on Instagram. Thank you. That was the episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.